Today's Praise in Peril devotional thought is Sarita Alicia Forbes. Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. This devotional thought is based on 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Hey, may I have your number please? I think I lost it. I stared at Sarita pleasantly, but annoyed when she asked for my number. I knew she didn't lose it because I changed it so she could not contact me. How did we meet? My mother wasn't fond of my friends and placed Sarita, a nice Christian girl, in my life because she knew it would help me to put God first. I, on the other hand, didn't want to be her friend. She was too holy and I wanted to party from Dan to Beersheba. Sure, I'll give it to you after church, I replied. I made a mental note to hide so she wouldn't be able to find me. We were completely polar opposites, but we became friends. I was loud and rough, but she was soft-spoken and gentle. After a while, I have always wondered, why is she like this? If this is what life is in Christ, then I want to be like this. Sarita loved the Lord. No matter how tired she was after work, she always had time for God. If persons were mean to her, she would smile, treat them nicely while ignoring the insults. I never had vespers with a friend until I met Sarita. And just like that, without her knowledge, she planted a Christ-like seed in my life for the last year of her life. And all I had to do was water it. At her funeral, I listened to the tributes with a broken heart. Though she wasn't perfect, she gave all to God because of the life she lived. I made a vow at her graveside to always have time for God. She may not be here to witness my spiritual growth, but today I am able to praise God in my perils. No matter what comes, I am praising Him because God has set me free through the life of my friend, and I am so glad I met Him. Life in Christ is sweet. It is the best life that I could ever live despite the troubles and trials. If it is your desire to bring your friends to Christ and you feel like giving up, don't. The Christ-like life you live will inspire not only your friends, but others too. Sadly, you may not get to experience the fruit of your labor like Sarita, but imagine waking up on that great day with many stars in your crown because of the life you had inspired. It wasn't the sermon that pastors preached, or the discussions with the Bible workers. It wasn't the religious books or the religious campaigns that were held that brought me to Christ. It was the life that Sarita lived. Dare to inspire others with Christ-like lives. This was your Praise in Peril devotional thought, written by Kiba Shea Miller from the Seventh-day Adventist Church at Port Maria. And I am Sharon Blake.